Now let's take a look at the next question. And they said that in the next question in the market, actions known as incentives affect one, product producers only, two, consumers only, three, consumers or producers, or four, neither consumers nor producers. And so it looks like for this question, we're talking about market incentives, and basically saying, what are incentives? And incentives are things that uh, motivate behavior or incentivize behavior in certain directions. And in the market, incentives can affect either producers or consumers, right? For example, you could produce a subsidy benefit to get producers to produce more of a good. That would be a, a, a subsidy incentive. You pay producers a certain amount of money for each unit of a good they produce. You could also incentivize consumers. You could give uh, consumers some sort of financial incentive to uh, buy a good. Uh, for example, uh, uh, a sale uh, would, uh, you know, uh, a sale would decrease the price and that would increase quantity demanded or uh, something like a uh, change in uh, a change in like the advertising scheme would it cause there to be a uh, increase in uh, producer demand. All those things uh, are going to be factors that affect incentives for uh, consumers or producers. So the correct answer here is going to be three. And so let's take a look at the previous student's answer and they said three as well and they said an incentive acts as an intrinsic motivator for any action. A market works in a fashion where incentives are created for both producers and consumers, and all agents of a market are incentivized to involve themselves in market activities. Incentives that induce an individual to involve in trade can be financial, providing a material reward to the agent involved, or moral that are reward in terms of a sense of self-esteem, admiration, or satisfaction. While a market mostly creates financial incentives, moral incentives generate from altruistic pursuits. Consumers have an incentive to engage in the market due to their needs and desires, whereas producers have incentives to do the same to maximize their products. Um, yeah, it's pretty good, uh, pretty thorough, good answer. And so we can move on to the next question.